In this video, we are going to look at SHA-3. SHA-3 provides an alternative to SHA-2 and is job incompatible with any system using SHA-2. Um, so, um, SHA-2 is actually a family of several several uh, hash functions so with different output lengths okay so SHA-3 is a single algorithm but it can provide um, outputs of different lengths which are the same as those in SHA-2, hence it is job incompatible. So uh, you use SHA-2 before, then you can use an appropriate SHA-3 uh, for that SHA-2 hash function. Okay, so SHA-3 uses a sponge construction instead of the CBC mode of compressions. Okay, uh, so this is a, a different structure. SHA-3 has a different structure. Uh, so we are gonna see uh, what that structure looks like. But uh, again, you would need to focus. Uh, we would need to focus on uh, two things. One is padding, the other one is initial value. So it's padding, and then the initial, initial value of a hash, <coughs> excuse me. And since we are not using, uh, compression, so we're going to focus on sponge construction. So we're going to call that a sponge function. So that's what we are going to uh, look at. Uh, so before we talk about paddings, first of all, we know that we would need to be flexible for, uh, for SHRAT3 to have output uh, to have output with different length. So for, for that, uh, because it needs to be drop in compatible with SHA-2, so, so then it basically means the following. So uh, we write B, which is a number divisible by 25 and follow and multiply. Uh, two to the L. So that really means I can write B as a five by five matrix such that each uh, such that each element in this matrix is a L bit binary string. So this is L bit binary string where L is between zero and six. Okay, so, uh, okay, so actually uh, uh, when, if well, when L is equal to zero, it's just too trivial. Okay, but it, nevertheless, so that's what uh, this B is. And then we, rewrite B into R plus C, such that uh, C is twice as long as, twice as big as your output length small gamma. Okay, so that is C. So then R is called rate and C capacity. Okay, so that's twice as the output length. So let me now erase this. And we can move on to the next slide.
Okay, so this is an example. For instance, uh, for shot five twelve. Okay, uh, for this case, we can choose okay B, which is the uh, largest number uh, for for shot three, so which is a 1600. So in this particular case, R is equal to 576. So then you can, you can easily verify that B is equal to 576 plus uh, two times 512. Okay, so in this particular case, this B can be written as, so this is a 25, L, uh, 2 to the 6. Okay, so that's, uh, so that means B can be written as a 5 by 5 meters, let's call it B, 0, 1, 0, 2, Zero four, and then this is four zero, four one, four four. So each of this B I J is an L bit binary string. Okay, so that's the parameter. So this gives you a drop in compatibility of uh, so shot. 512, which is in which is the longest output length, which has the longest output length in the family of sharp two. Okay, so now let's remove this. Okay, so now let's look at setup. We know we need a pad M, so this is how we pad. So we add uh, one zero asterisk one, so this is a regular expression. Uh, so for instance, this could be one, one, one zero, one, one zero, zero, one, and so on. So. So then what we want is we pad this pattern at the end of M. And what we want is to make sure that the length of new string or the padded string M prime is divisible by R, okay? So then we can write M prime as a sequence of blocks where each block has length R. Now, um, we mentioned earlier, uh, B, a B bit string can be, uh, can be written as a five by five matrix uh, where each element is an L bit string. Okay. Uh, all right, so, uh, and then for an element, so let's say, so I guess we need a, <clears throat> uh, we need to make some correction of the previous slide. Okay, so okay. Uh, So, uh, so if, so here we set the, uh, and, oops.
here. It's uh, a e bit string can be written as a five by five matrix. Okay. Uh, instead of using B here, let me just use I, A, I, J because it is a string. It just, uh, so this string, the length of this string is L bit long. Okay, so I, uh, uh, please make a note on this. So now let me remove this. And uh, so in particular, in this case, we have a, um, so a deep bit string, let's call it A, can be, written as a five by five matrix where this is a zero one a zero two I'm sorry a zero zero a zero one a zero two a zero three a zero four and then this is a four zero, a four one, a four two, a four three, a four four. Where the length of each a i j here is equal to six. So uh, again, I would uh, need a, a made this correction here. So now let's move this. Okay. All right, so now we, we just, we have just looked at Uh, we have just looked at that. Uh, we can represent A, any B bit string A as a five by five matrix such that its length is L bit long. Now, uh, we are going to let FB be a fixed length permutation. So which means that you have a B bit string. Okay. And then you uh, apply this permutation you get a new B bit string. So this is also B bit. Okay. And then we are going to let for any for any X, for any string X. Okay, we use P sub R of X to indicate. Okay, so this is a B. And we know B is equal to R plus C. So this is going to be P sub R, so this is string X. And this is going to be SC. Okay, so that's what this means. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's look at, now let's look at a, uh, how do we construct a uh, sponge uh, function. So this is sponge. Uh, so basically sponge really means you absorb, absorb some water and then you squeeze some water out. Okay, so that, so this sponge has two faces. Okay. So sponge has two faces. One is absorb. The other one is squeeze. So you need to absorb first and then squeeze after you have absorbed something. Okay, so now the uh, absor absorb, absorb phase is this. So let's look at this picture. So this is your initial value. And then you are, so this is a B bit initial value and uh, so we are going to now remember each of these block is a bit long so we use this part to exclusive or m1 so that's what it is, and then you get the suffix. Okay, so you apply this permutation uh, for n rounds. Okay, so this is, if you, you, if you look at it, it's sort of like, uh, so uh, if you think of each of these, it's a one round of operation, so this, uh, so you get this input, which is uh, the exclusive or of the previous uh, prefix, okay, R prefix. So, so then the suffix also goes to this permutation. So until you get down here. So this portion is absorbing. Okay, and then after that, you squeeze things out. So the things you squeeze out is your hash code. So you squeeze H1, you do this for a number of times, okay, then you get HN, okay, so it's a squeeze. So, uh, so, the, so the function you are going to use is still the same permutation. All right, so the squeezing, it just takes the first R prefix, takes the R prefix, okay, of, of each of these. Uh, uh, so of each of these, the output, okay. All right, so let's see how we can construct an, an FB this permutation. Okay, so um, the hash uh, shot three hash follows uh, cat cat family of permutations. Okay, so in particular, it uh, carries out, okay, so let me get the annotation. 
Okay, so you first write your initial A, your initial input A as a five by five state matrix where each element is an L bit long binary string. And it carries uh, it carries out five operations. Okay, the first one is diffusion, which is just a uh, exclusive or okay uh, of certain bits. Okay, so this is will be uh, the case uh, bit. Okay, so AIJ, the case bit, that value of bit is the exclusive OR of a bunch of bits. Okay, so you, as you can see here, uh, this is the case bit, so it's the, it has the initial value. So this is the initial case bit value. And this is the, pre the previous row, and then you look at, uh, that the number of previous row of all the bits, you exclusive or all the bits, okay? And this is the next row also, you, uh, so this is the, so this is the previous row, you look at the case bit, now the previous row has, uh, has five strings. You look at the case bit of each those string and then exclusive or those bits. So this is the next row. You also have five uh, strings or five elements. Now this time you look at the K minus one bit, exclusive or all of them. So then you exclusive or so this is, so this itself is a bit. This is also a bit. So we exclusive all this and together with itself so that you get a new bit out. So that's, uh, that's diffusion. Diffusion, remember, uh, the diff uh, diffusion means that this bit, this bit, so it come from uh, as many bits as possible from, in this case, is the previous row and the next row, okay? The row above and the row below, okay? So it comes from all these bits, okay? So hence we will have a diffusion. All right. Next. Okay, uh, we're gonna look at uh, dispersion of bits in words. Okay, so this operation is the following sequence of 24 steps. Okay, so you can just look at this. Let me bring out. Okay, so you know, this is the initial, and then you carry this out for 24 steps. So basically, you, you just uh, manipulate uh, each of these elements, okay? Uh, you have uh, 25 elements, but we only uh, do it. Uh, so this is a, uh, um, for for each, so I starts from one, okay, and J is zero. So, so you 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 uh, up you manipulate each element, and then dispersion of words. So this is at the bit level, and then at the word level. So you do. Uh, so this is twenty five operations. So you just. Uh, uh, move around, right? S sort of like a move around. And then the, 
the fourth operation is nonlinear map. Okay. Uh, it's nonlinear because now you are applying negation. Okay, so you 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 negate certain bits and then you take an N and then exclusive or and then the last one is uh, symmetry disruption. So in that case, you use a round constant. Okay, so this is RCL um, to manipulate these numbers, uh, the elements in that matrix. All right. So this, these are the RC values. So these are the RC values. So that is sponge, sponge uh, construction. So sponge has two phases, absorbing and then squeezing. Okay, and each uh, absorbing and squeezing is the same operation of a permutation. But for uh, ab absorbing, you need you need the input uh, from your you need a input block from the input you want to, from your input, and then for squeezing, you don't take in any more input blocks. Instead, you just keep squeeze some water out, okay? Each time you do a permutation. So uh, this is a short suite. 